beginning to look a lot like a Canadian Christmas. Welcome, I'm Heidi Johansson and this is Galas and Giving Shaw TV Spotlight on local charity events. The Shaw Conference Centre is where the Festival of Trees is hosting its annual fashion show and luncheon. This holiday highlight event is doing its part to bring Canada's first stroke ambulance to the University of Alberta Hospital. So join us for an afternoon of champagne, shopping, fashion, but most important, participating in the gift of giving. What better way to start this holiday season than celebrating all things Canadian? Festival of Trees co-chair Jackie Fetter. It actually seemed timely with the fashion of the year. Like if you look around, buffalo claws everywhere. So it was kind of a fashion statement, I think, along with the Canadiana feel. And you know, I mean, Edmonton is Canadiana, hockey and snow sports. So it kind of meshed with what is happening in the fashion world, which is, which is kind of a nice thing for us. One notable fashion accessory this afternoon, a ribbon of plaid with purpose. Well, ours is the buffalo plaid. So if you have had a stroke or know someone who has had a stroke, you're wearing it to honour them today because really t this year is about the idea of stroke and how we can support those people and get them the support they need as fast as possible so that they don't have to have the repercussions some people do. The 800 guests here this afternoon are in support of the University Hospital Foundation Stroke Ambulance Project. Stroke neurologist Dr. Tom Jerichathil states that in order to truly appreciate the importance of this specialized emergency vehicle, we need to know a few facts about strokes. So strokes is severe disease that leaves people dead or disabled. And the problem with stroke is you lose two million brain cells a minute in a stroke. And so if you live in the city, we can get you to care really quickly. But if you live a couple of hours outside of a major center that can treat stroke, you're at a major disadvantage. So you could, you could lose 240 million brain cells and that could make the difference between making a recovery or not recovering at all. Now let's take a look at this touching video for the cause. Uh, people think we're uh, two peas in a pod or like the Gilmore Girls. <laughs> I painted. I used to write. I used to walk and be a race walker. Uh, was in marathons. I became involved with the Wayne Gretzky wedding through Nathan Graham. I looked after the Basilica with lots of help. I have uh, designed for the festival lots and lots of trees. Or I got a glass down from the shelf, glass of water, drank the water, and as I put the glass down, it tunneled, you know, my vision, and something, a voice in my head said, you're having a stroke. It's very strange coming to an empty house when you're used to having a conversation every day with somebody, your mother or whoever you're living with, and then having nobody, it's lonely. My sister, Patty, she said to me, maybe it isn't about you. And you think, not about me. I'm the one who's crippled, crippled arm, crippled leg, can't duck, you know, everything. And, um, but you started thinking about it. And when this ambulance, uh, the special ambulance, the stroke ambulance, when it came up, I thought, that's what I should be doing. So classically, when people have a stroke, the, one of the biggest problems is getting them to care fast enough. Now, the Stroke Ambulance Project, which, which will be the first of its kind in Canada, and really only a, of a, a handful of similar projects across the world, 
will treat stroke in a different way. Rather than bringing the patient to the hospital, we're going to be bringing the hospital to the patient. But the stroke ambulance will be dispatched and will meet an incoming ambulance. You'll transfer the patient into the stroke ambulance. We'll scan their head, and we'll actually be able to make decisions about treatment. We'll be able to uh, give clot-busting drugs. I wish it was different for me, but it's not. This is it for life, and I uh, have to accept that. But it could be better, way better for other people. The Stroke Ambulance was on site at the Festival of Trees, giving our city a first-hand look at its capabilities. If a patient has a stroke, we'll dispatch the Stroke Ambulance towards them. Meanwhile, their ambulance will be heading towards Edmonton and the two vehicles will meet halfway. This ambulance is unique in Canada right now because it has a CT scanner within it. So we can scan your brain and figure out what kind of stroke you're having. We also have video conferencing equipment on the ambulance. So the neurologist, like myself, back at University Hospital can actually examine the patient with the paramedics via video conference and make a treatment decision. So we can give treatment an hour or maybe even two hours faster than otherwise and they can make the difference between a person going to a nursing home or a person walking out of the hospital a few days later. The success of this project is beyond measure for the University of Alberta Hospital. It's the first time in the world that it's actually targeted people that live in rural areas. All the other ones in existence, and there's only a dozen in the world and only four across the U.S., all the other ones actually target urban centers. So it's really a unique role. And then this vehicle itself, just to get into the interesting features, has a lot of really cool features that other ambulances in the world don't have. So really, with all of its characteristics and capabilities, it's probably one of a kind in the world right now. It's the gift of time, as volunteers work tirelessly to keep this luncheon and fashion show a Yuletide tradition. So we have been putting in countless hours, and to be honest, most of us were here from 9 till 11 last night, so that we can make sure people are so excited and um, about Christmas and giving that they want to come again and enjoy the day, and uh, we couldn't do it without volunteers. Like last, yesterday we had many schools coming by to help out, we have family members, we have, um, you know, people um, who are retired, and we just love them all because every single one of them, whether it's an hour or hundreds of hours, are making a difference. Without them, this event, just look around you, could not possibly happen. We caught up with one young volunteer who is making today a family affair. Thanks for being with us here this afternoon, Josh. Josh has been a volunteer at the Festival of Trees for how many years this now? Is my this is my second year here. Oh, so, and uh, what exactly are you doing here in, at the Festival of Trees luncheon and fashion show? Um, today I'm modeling, but yesterday I was here setting up. So what did that entail? Um, it entailed everything from the chair ties to the little silver plates on the tables to the table covers, everything really in the room. <laughs> now there are a lot of organizations for you to be involved in in this city. Why this one? Um, my mom just so happened to get involved with this last year, just so has to be co-chair of the luncheon board. And so yeah, this I got involved in through her. And this might be a hint as to what he'd like to find under the Christmas tree. Let's talk about shopping and fashion. Have yeah. you picked out your Christmas outfit yet? Or have you been inspired by the fashion here today? I have been, yes. Um, the outfit that I'm wearing right now is from Mr. Dirks. But we have outfits from Liliana's, Max and Maude, um, Shades of Grey, and other stores here that are on the runway today. Perfect. Well, good luck today. We hope you do wonderfully on the runway. Thanks so much for being with us, Josh. Canadian-inspired and locally donated silent auction items were plenty. And for the sugar addicts in the room, a Denton's law firm-sponsored candy buffet. As part of the main event, singer-songwriter Terrell Edwards wooed the mostly female guests with festive carols. Taking center stage, models hit the runway wearing fashions from our city's boutiques that got everyone in the spirit and ramped up for the holidays. This afternoon of giving and gratitude, well, let's just say it's the reason for the season. So the gift that people that are supporting this ambulance will be giving other people is the gift of their life back. Not just saving lives, but saving people's life and everything that they do as, in their lives and everything they do for everybody else in their lives. You know, being a father, a mother, uh, being a person that works in a corporation, you're going to go back to a productive life a lot more with this than if you hadn't gotten treatment. 
Well, we hope you've enjoyed experiencing a truly Canadian Christmas. For more information on how you can volunteer or how you can support this cause, go to festivaloftrees.ca. And if you would like Shaw TV to cover your event, email us at galasandgiving at shaw.ca. From the Shaw Conference Centre, I'm Heidi Johansson. Hair Services for Galas and Giving is sponsored by Raw Beauty Inc. With Medical Facial Aesthetics sponsored by External Affairs Medical Spa. Clothing provided by Simons.